No one knows who Cubit was or what he was doing. Actually, actually we do. Cubit was an arcade character who made a shitload of money. That's the great thing about living in the future. We know everything. We even know Cubit's lineage. Turns out he's an ancestor to Silvalogus Transitionalis. We know this in the future because we have Google and Bunny Leap for the iPhone. The proof is in the inward hip. You know, and the jumping. Released last month to the App Store, Bunny Leap should be very familiar to anyone who spent most of the 80s in their local arcade. This is like a tribute to the arcade classic Qbert, but on a modern platform and with a modern touch. See, because it's on a... Oh, and a little white bunny. He should have a gun. So each stage is an arrangement of shapes. For some reason, it's up to the rabbit to change the color of these shapes by jumping on them. I guess in a tough economy, we do what we can. But unfortunately, there are, you know, there are a bunch of job killers and blob-like purple a-holes trying to capture the bunny. Like I said, if he was packing, this wouldn't be a problem. So, obviously, it's a familiar premise, but Bunny Leap does put its own stamp on things. Specifically, it has all kinds of different shapes, enough for 50 levels of old-school color-swapping madness. But the big change is one of control. You play this thing with touch, and although there's certainly potential in the pairing of Cubert gameplay and a touch screen, it can be a bit frustrating in Bunny Leap. You see, with the default controls, the screen's divided into four squares. So you just tap anywhere, and the rabbit jumps in that direction. Now, that sounds fine, but in practice, it's just too much. You have to be constantly aware of both the rabbit and the relative location of your taps, which means a lot of accidental deaths. You know, game control is at its best when you don't even think about it. These controls require a lot of thinking. But fortunately, there is an update in the works that includes several new control schemes, including one for directional swiping. That sounds better. And it's a good thing, too, because I like the game. It looks good, it runs smoothly, it has great gameplay, just a bit of a pain to control. Once there are options, though, I have no doubt Bunny Leap will continue the evolution of Cubert in nothing but a positive direction. One that arcade fans should definitely jump to.